So you came here to learn more about waiting? Then you have found the right place. There are a couple of manual and even automatic possibilities to create good weight maps for your rig. The first and most commonly known tool is the weight paint brush. You find it in the tool shelf. Here you can select between add, subtract, blur, and some other brush types. Let us try out some brushes to get our dress into a better shape. Note that you can select a weight value for your brush here. The exact meaning of this value depends on the used brush. Especially for the add brush and the subtract brush you will probably want to set this to very small values around 0.1 or even lower. I also adjust the brush radius to my taste, and I set the brush strength to about 1 for now. You will have to play frequently with these values. Otherwise the brush strokes might become too strong and you can quickly break the entire weighting. Let's start near the hips where we apparently see the worst distortions. We switch the active bone frequently during our painting session, and thus we try to improve the weighting for all involved bones. However, we see after a while that it's not so easy to get this weighting fixed with the weight brush alone. But hold on, until now we have weighted each bone separately, but we can enable multi-paint mode in the tool shelf. This mode works very well with a blur brush. Now the weights get averaged over all involved bones, and that often helps to get smoother results. But even the multi-paint brush does not work in all cases. So there is another tool available for us. We can try automatic weighting. Simply select a bone. Then press W and select automatic. You can switch to other bones and try automatic weighting again and see if you can get improvements. While you often can get some decent overall results with this method, you might sometimes still end up with some parts that just do not want to get right. In that case you can use the selection masks. And try again to use the weight paint brushes. Interface selection mode. Now you can use right mouse click to select single faces, or shift right mouse click to add more faces to the selection or you can use the rubber band tool by first pressing B, then select the area of faces by left mouse click and dragging the mouse. You also can deselect areas by using the middle mouse button and dragging. You terminate the rubber band selection by releasing the mouse button. Now try to add or subtract the weights as needed. The brush will only influence the selected faces. Please note that also automatic weights will take care of the selection. So you can for example modify only the dress border as follows. Select only the lower border of the dress. Now press W and select automatic. This helps often to get the borders smoothed. Let's take another look at the lower border of the dress. We want to make it fall down a bit smoother and it should fit more tightly to the raised hip. Neither automatic weighting nor the brush could help us here. So now we have to get into fine tuning. Go to object mode. Select only the dress. Now go to edit mode. You see that the mesh snaps back to its rest position. So let's enable weights in edit mode. Open the modifiers tack. Select the editing icon. Now another icon appears. Select it as well. Now the mesh can be directly edited. Select one single vertex. Open the properties panel. Locate the vertex groups panel. 
Now you can modify the weights of this single vertex. Often you will see immediately what causes the particular problem. Sometimes you have to try a bit until you find a good solution. It is important to know that these weight values are not used directly, they are used to calculate a percentage of influence for the involved bones. For example if you set all weights to the same value, then the weights are distributed equally over all bones, regardless of the value itself. But note that a weight value of zero will remove the influence of the related bone. But you cannot set all weight values to zero at the same time. In practice I found that in many cases wrong behavior of the mesh comes from weight values close to zero. In such cases the mesh often improves by setting the value to zero. Also note that there should be not more than four vertices in the list. This is a limitation of second life. It is not known what happens if the number of weights per vertex go above 4. Actually I never found any problems related to this limitation. So this is a very powerful tuning option in Blender. And you almost always can quickly solve your weighting issues. But there is yet another sort of issues. Sometimes you might try to tune a particular vertex, but just do not get it right whatever you try. In that case you may need to tune the mesh itself as the last rescue. Simply select the vertices that look wrong. And move them in edit mode. But please keep aware that you now modify your mesh, so you should only do very small corrections, and you should only use this method when waiting just does not want to get right. Of course you can use the vertex group editing and the direct vertex moving at the same time. So after some tuning and moving, your mesh begins to look as expected. Now it's time to change the pose and check if your modifications also work for other poses. One easy trick is to check the mirrored pose as follows. Go to pose mode. Select all bones. Copy the selection to the bone copy buffer. Then paste to the opposite side. And now continue your mesh weights tuning. During this process you will have to test your weighting with several poses. Your best option is to start with the rest pose, then move the bones until you find an apparent waiting issue. Then fix that issue and finally advance to the next pose. You should try to get your waiting as good as possible for the rest pose, and you should not spend too much time on extreme poses. But I believe that after some practicing you will get reasonable results for your waiting. Please be patient and start over again if you fail. After all weight painting is an art by itself. I hope that this summary helps you to get your mesh attachments into a nice shape. Thank you for watching.